Microsoft Dynamics has the largest ERP market share at 25% according to Sixth Sense. The problem is they offer two ERP products, Dynamics 365 Business Central and Finance and Operations, and they're built for very different kinds of companies. And if you're looking at Microsoft's site, it can be hard to cut through the marketing noise and figure out which one is right for your business. That's why in this video, I'll be giving you an in-depth breakdown of who should use the system based on what I've seen from real companies over the years. I'll compare their features, unpack the differences, and show you how Copilot fits into each one so you can make a smart, scalable choice for your business. Microsoft Dynamics 365 can be different things to different companies. When you look at Microsoft's website, you see a few standalone apps to choose from, like sales, CRM, and field service. These apps are great, but typically handle just one specific area of your organization. Business Central and Finance and Operations are ERPs, or a suite of modules that help automate and unify your company's processes. We actually have Business Central on our best ERPs video if you want to check that out too. But beyond the ERP similarities, they have key differences you need to know before you buy. Business Central offers a full suite of integrated apps, financial management, sales and marketing, purchasing, inventory, warehouse management, and project management. If that sounds like a lot, it's because it is. Think of it more as an all-in-one system. It's the natural next step if QuickBooks is starting to hold you back. It even has embedded co-pilot functionalities, but more on that later. On the other hand, Finance and Operations is technically two separate products, Finance and Supply Chain Management, but they're designed to work together. Finance includes core accounting, performance planning, analytics, AI, and machine learning. Supply Chain Management has advanced inventory, complex manufacturing support, procurement, and asset management. It's Microsoft's competitors to enterprise ERPs like SAP S4 HANA and Oracle Fusion Cloud. But who actually uses these products? What kind of companies is Microsoft trying to target? For Business Central, it's specifically built for small businesses looking to upgrade from siloed financial tools to a full-featured ERP system. It works best if you have anywhere from 10 to 200 employees across a ton of different industries. It supports distributors, nonprofits, professional services, and even manufacturers. It really is that flexible. However, if you're a complex manufacturer, I look at more specialized ERPs, something like Xtuple or Decom. Business Central can handle basic BOMs and small job shops, but larger companies should get a specific system to their industry. Finance and Operations targets enterprise-level companies, typically those with over 500 employees. Like Business Central, it works for industries across the board, including distribution, financial services, and manufacturing. The advanced features like complex BOM nesting and machine learning demand planning make it an option for larger companies with more complex processes. Now before I get into pricing, I want to mention how Dynamics 365 is sold. As weird as it sounds, Microsoft doesn't sell products directly to businesses. Instead, you purchase through a third-party value-added reseller, or VAR. They act as the middleman, selling products while also providing added services like support, implementation, training, and customization. This can be great for getting tailored help, but it does add another decision you have to spend hours researching. That's why at Software Connect, we work with some of the best Microsoft VARs in the business, letting you skip the legwork entirely. Plus, we'll get you demos and price quotes from other ERPs to compare, so you can be sure Dynamics is actually the right fit for you. Just visit softwareconnect.com or click on the link in the description to speak with an expert today. And unlike most ERP vendors, Microsoft actually lists its pricing publicly, even though you still have to go through a partner to buy. Because of the small company focus, Business Central is the cheaper of the two, with the Essentials plan starting at $70 per user per month. They also offer a premium package that starts at $100 per user per month. But those prices won't be this way for long. Microsoft recently announced their first price increase for Business Central in nearly five years. Starting October 1st of 2025, the Essentials plan will jump from $70 to $80 per user per month, and the premium plan will go from $100 to $110 per user per month. So not a huge price hike, but it adds up fast if you have a lot of users. So if you're thinking about buying Business Central, I would get in before October 1st to get the lower price. And since it has more advanced features for enterprises, finance and operations is much more expensive. Both the finance and supply chain management products start at $210 per user per month, with premium versions starting at $300 per user per month. That said, almost every Microsoft partner I've talked to recommends buying them together to get a reduced price. Plus, it just makes more sense since you're pretty much designed to be integrated together. Just keep in mind that things like support, setup, and customizations can all add to the upfront price. Let's wrap up with Microsoft Copilot. 
AI is already built into both ERPs, but it shows in different ways depending on which one you use. In Business Central, Copilot aims to simplify day-to-day -day tasks like drafting sales quotes or writing product descriptions. For me, the real value comes with the AI anomaly detection tool. It monitors financial data and alerts you to unusual patterns like duplicate invoices or suspicious vendor activity. It's huge for making sure all your finances are in order. And just a heads up, if you're interested in AI and want to see how they work with other ERPs, check out our AI and ERP video. We actually mentioned the D365 anomaly tool there too. Finance and operations take it a step further, offering more advanced AI-powered analytics. It provides deep financial summaries, forecasts demand with machine learning, and even identifies sales trends. It even highlights supply chain disruptions and their root causes. This can really help enterprises stay on top of their supply chain and ensure they're being proactive instead of reactive. Think of Copilot and Business Central as your AI sidekick. Built into workflows, you get instant help on daily tasks. In finance and operations, Copilot acts more like a strategic advisor, embedded deeply to surface analytics and guide decision making. With Microsoft doubling down on AI across both platforms, I expect that trend to continue. So, which one's right for you? I'd recommend Business Central if you're a small to mid-sized company that wants an easy-to-use ERP that won't break the bank. It's really flexible and a perfect fit if you're upgrading from Excel spreadsheets. But for large to enterprise companies, finance and operations is the way to go. So are you thinking about upgrading to a D365 product? Tell us about your business needs in the comments below and we'll reply with a recommendation. If you're interested in either of these products or want to know more about ERPs in general, visit softwareconnect.com. We'll get you connected with some of the best Microsoft sellers available and personalize ERP recommendations for free. And if you're interested in learning more about Business Central, check out our full video review. There we dive a little deeper into some of its features and compare it to competitors. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.